Hey guys, how's it going? Go see Richard today. And today is the first episode, maybe even considered the second, of the brand new car to the channel. I present to you the C7 Corvette. As you've just seen a little bit of B-roll, I'm pretty excited about this project. There is so much to dive into that we want to do to it, but let's just take a second to admire it for a second. It was really, really hard for me to choose between doing a C7 and C8. I will jump on a C8 maybe later, but I just couldn't get over the natural body lines of this car. Like, I literally walked into the showroom floor after looking at C8s, and as soon as I seen this car, I was like, this is the one. I have to build this car. It just drew me to it. There's something about it. It was like looking at maybe a 458 Ferrari, and then you see that F12 with the front engine. That's the only way I can compare it to somebody. I'm a big fan of the F12. I'm not a 458 fan. Again, different strokes for different folks, right? Either way, as you can see, let's go over some of these cool features. I'm gonna spin this camera around for a second, and then we're just gonna do a walk around, and I'll do a little bit of talking about options that I wanna consider for this. But I need your help. I have had a dilemma that I've been pondering for the last three days and it will completely change the direction of every mod we do. So let's get into it. Let's jump into a few things, why don't we? First, let's pop the trunk. So as we can see, if we pop this open, this has the top that comes off. T-top, Torga top, whatever you want to call it. And you just pop off the clips. And what's really cool, completely different compared to my Jeep. The Jeep, you just simply undo it and then it can strap to the rear seat if you wanted to. This one, it actually comes off, slides into here and then locks down. So let's say you're going to still go be a very excited driver and drive this thing really sport-like and have a lot of fun it holds it so tight you don't have to worry about that top shifting around it locks into place there's also a lot of tie down spots just in case you are going to carry something it's actually very shocking how much tie downs there is in here and again it does leave a little bit of room for if you want to grab groceries and stuff with the c8 you kind of have to choose the front part which is going to heat your groceries so if you buy milk it's probably going to be spoiled by the time you get there or the trunk space which isn't that deep on that so this is one reason why I really do like, again, having that rear hatch. And again, it's soft closed, so I'll try to do this nice and soft. And if I press down, there. As you can see, it does that. I went with the Grand Sport because I just loved the body package. Having that and having the brake cooling for the, uh, as you can see, the ceramic brakes there, which is just crazy because they're carbon ceramic, so gonna have to bust out the wallet when it's time to change that but I guess that's other problems right again front end love the front end lines of this car you just cannot beat it if I back this up or even that one angled shot from right here so it looks like the Batmobile if I come back right here I don't know like I said even seeing this on video it's hard to say button there's no actual handle so if you're gonna put this thing on a trailer or you're gonna be leaving it uh, in your garage for a while and you don't know if your battery's gonna die because you're not gonna put it on a trickle charger, put it on a trickle charger. Anyways, what you'd end up doing is making sure you leave these windows down a bit so you can at least reach these handles because otherwise you are not popping your door open because they're electric. So make sure you leave the uh, doors down. Other than that, again, lots of adjustment. This is one of the reasons why I got it for a good deal. It has a 
nice cigarette burn right there. I'm gonna go into a couple things with Yo-Yo Auto afterwards, but first, let's take a look at all these options. Again, if we just press the engine start, then we can at least take a look at some of the menus. It's just not gonna start the vehicle. Again, just like the GTI, we have paddle shifters. We have what I like, volume paddles. And of course, favorite up, favorite down. Cruise control, some more gauge stuff. Uh, yell at Siri, or actually you can just yell at Siri. You don't actually have to hit this button. This is more for the car's built-in stuff. I'm gonna hop in so that way it doesn't ding in our ears the whole time. And then of course, selecting through the menus, which is great for if you go into track mode. Again, this doesn't have that fancy cover, but you can still turn it and change what mode you're in. Once you're in track mode, you can select the different stuff through the gauges, all that other fun stuff. Oh, sorry, that's touring. Track is the yellow one. Right there, select. So now that we're in track mode, again, Oh yeah, it wants, so you can see the applications and everything that goes to it. You have to start the vehicle, do that other fun stuff. Another cool trick. If you don't own a C7, you probably don't know this. Oh well, yeah, you can put your phone in here and charge it. Or if you're going to go to the beach, maybe you have the top down. You could store your uh, cell phone or whatever belongings you have in there, which is really neat. Oh, um, menu. Yes, I know. Um, PDAR stuff. So if you're going to be doing some race PDR, you want to record you racing around. Cool tip for you. Make sure you uh, pop open uh, your glove box here and put your SD card in there. So that way you can use those features. The glove box doesn't have really much storage in there, but it works. I do like this though. That again, I need to do a few old detailed job. We have another cigarette lighter in here, so you can put any device you want in here, as well as they leave a cable spot right here so you don't have to put your device in here. Put it right off to the side. You can access the trunk. As you can see, Bose, yay. I do like this, what they've done with the roof. You can There we go, it focused. It's um, actually got carpet on the roof, which is nice. Alka could tear down the sides, which is really nice. Uh, they kept the leather steering wheel huge because who wants to get greasy Alka Cantera steering wheel all over and it's got the flat bottom, which is perfect. No one wants a round bottom steering wheel. Um, yeah, just a couple things like that that I've noticed so far. Again, there's tons and loads of features. I've already put her into drive, manual, track mode, did a little bit of that. I want to go and do driving videos later. This is just more to go over some of the fun things with the car. Um, again, love it. It still has this going on. It's not like the C8 though, where you have all your buttons down here. This one actually keeps it kind of nice and clean. It's just a nice little uh, separator. Some people don't like it, especially if they have chickies in their car, but that's completely up to you. Just depends what you're doing while you're driving. Who knows? Uh, Apple CarPlay really fancy for 2017 pretty happy with that i uh, plugged my phone in and it's super nice to actually have uh android auto or apple carplay so that way you can plug in your device and have it come all up on here and it's awesome too if somebody texts you it'll read it out to you if you click read it and you can also click to reply to the person the microphone's actually really accurate and then you can reply to the person way ac more accurate than just going straight through siri and the navigation on here is amazing. So I might start the car for one sec just to show you this. If I put this in drive, look at the HUD, if it pops up. There it is. Can you see it? Probably not because it's white on white. I'm going to zoom in. Look at that. Kilometers. So if you've got everything... Oh yeah, this is also cool. Look at this. It's in drive, comes up with all three of your cameras up front. It's actually two, but it combines them for the center one. And then reverse is just the reverse camera. And then, yeah, let's turn this off so we don't poison ourselves. The mirrors do go and aim down too when you do it. Uh, again, these are all things where if you've researched C7s, you already know, but I'm just having fun telling you anyway. Um, other than that, why don't we take a look under the hood and then I'm going to start saying some options. And here, I think what I might do, we might actually do some 
carbon fiber inlays on all this because there is a couple companies that sell carbon fiber packages and that'd be kind of neat just to throw the carbon fiber pieces in here instead of all these uh silver pieces but we will see that's not high up on the list i have a couple other things which i think would be more fun oh and also i do love this not that i really need heated seats but it has heated seats and it also has vented seats so if your seats are super hot you can vent them and not sweat so that's always nice um syncing is so that way you sync up your dials all that other fun stuff anyways let's pop the hood and go take a look underneath and then let's run through some options oh and onstar if you have a radar detector there is a thing you pop off down here two probes go in and you can get the mount mount your radar detector off here and it those little pigtail with the two probes probes go in sticks into the back of the radar detector and no wires hanging down way cool right this is a gti steering wheel see how they did the metal inlay i think that looks so cool i wish they would have done something like this but i get it you're trying to lose weight on it you're not trying to gain weight and the aluminum would probably add some weight but it's just nice the, this is still plastic this is a manual steering wheel you can tell because it doesn't have the uh, paddle shifters on it but at the same time i'm just saying i wish they would have done something like this because the steering wheel it looks great it's just kind of looks cheap but there is a carbon fiber inlay that you can buy and i'll probably go ahead with that other thing is if you've never lifted one of these look at how light this is that is such a light hood it's ridiculous just like that t-top on the jeep like one side of it is probably double the weight of just this whole piece right here as you can see this was in detailed that's fine um i actually have a friend who says he wants to take a stab at it and go and clean up everything now why did i pop the hood for you other than to say that it looks dirty well i was about to order a carbon fiber intake for this as well as of course i'm going to do exhaust i always do exhaust but i'm having a dilemma are we going to supercharge it or are we going to turbo charge it or as i should say twin turbo if we twin turbo the intake is useless because if you take a look at twin turbo kits no longer uses that intake space that intake comes out and a turbo goes there and then the other turbo comes right here or do we supercharge it and then i have to get a different intake to accommodate the supercharger super hard choices I'm so the big dilemma is do i twin turbo or do i supercharge it's a hard one i think i'm leaning towards supercharging though i've already turboed before the gti was turbo um, a couple other things that i've worked on before have been turbo but i've never done a supercharger but i need your guys' help i want it to appeal to you guys too tell me guys in the comments are we twin turboing or are we supercharging let me know below either way that's a quick look at the project there is more that's going to go on like of course an exhaust an intake and everything like that but none of it starts until i know the direction i'm going to go although there needs to be an oil change done on it and a couple other things because unfortunately i as much as i love yo-yo auto and i still do by the way um a couple things weren't done uh the we don't know if the engine fluid was done so what's going to end up happening is they ended up sending me a gift card for Canadian Tire and we ended up buying a bunch of oil and other things for the car. They also gave me a detailing cards so I can go get the car detailed. And they also, it was low on washer fluid. They bought washer fluid for it. So in the end, we do have everything we need to get going. Thanks again, Yo-Yo Auto. The after sales care has been perfect. During sales care was perfect. Everything was, you know, still according to plan in my books. Again, guys, thanks again for following along on the channel to up until this point. And please help me choose. Are we supercharging or turbocharging? Either way, stay tuned for more videos. And thanks again, as always, for watching.